Yo, my people, how are we doing? Match day today. Palace Man United. It's an evening game, 8 o'clock kickoff from Sowers Park. This is a rearranged fixture, hence to why it's kicking off on a Wednesday night. And it's the only Premier League game um, because we do play at the weekend with the rest of the matches kicking off. We play Newcastle, so we've got some tough fixtures ahead of us, Man United, Newcastle, the Man United away a couple weeks later. And then the big, big game, which will be the nail in the coffin for us this season, potentially, depending on the result, Brighton. But we've got to focus on today, Man United. A lot has been said in the media about Palace and that. A lot of criticisms are on the players, Vieira, and especially the board with completely let the fans, the team and not back, not back in Patrick Vieira it's been a big downfall to this season we've had a poor campaign you know a lot of things have gone wrong we've had a wretched run with six defeats in our last seven in all competitions it's not looking good however we've got to get behind the team the atmosphere needs to be perfect you know Schlipp even said in his interview that he had a couple days ago that the fans got to get behind the team he said we need the fans the fans drive that team on give them the spark give them the positivity and the, you know the intensity to you know, turn teams over in that. So I hope the fans show up today, man. Honestly, if they don't, it's going to be another miserable evening at Sellers Park. Look, we're not expected to win. And listen, right now, I take us losing maybe 1 or 2 0 to Man United, even 3 0 because of how well they're sort of playing in that, to be honest with you. I mean, Marcus Rashford on fire, you know, I mean, they've got a top defender in for around who's on fire in that as well. Casemiro, you know, who knows? It's just going to be one of them once today. We're not expected to win. I'll take a point, a win, while that could turn our season around. But I'm not hope, I'm not really hopeful of that. You know, we need a reality check. We're not, we're not expected to win. We're not going to win. Man United are the big favourites, obviously, and they're going for the title in that as well. It's a game in hand for both teams. Teams that could be so vital for both of them during this tense Premier League campaign. So let's see what happens on the way to Sellers Park. Who knows what we're going to get tonight? It could either go wrong, it could just be one of them games that we just play well and get played off the park. But who knows? See you lot on the way to Sellers Park. Come on, the Palace man. Do not let me down. I'd love to be really optimistic about today's game. Mm. I think all I'm looking for is that the players give 100%. Yeah, that's all I can, that's all I, that's all well. all I can hope for today mm. is that they play, they, they care. And when they go, if they go a goal down, they don't let their heads drop. Okay, They have to keep working hard. If they all, I don't want them to leave anything on that pit. They go out there, give it everything that they can. You can't ask them any more than that. But, you know, if they don't, then you know we, we, I'm just going to be disappointed. But yeah. look, it's going to be a tough game. Man United have nine nine straight wins. Yeah. I mean, and they've just beat Man City. Their confidence is going to be sky high. You never know in football. You never know anything in football, can happen. Anything can happen. You just never. What's know. your prediction? What's your prediction finally before we end this? <sighs> I said <laughs> uh, my thing last night. I said three 0 to Man United. Same I mean, here. My my heart says like no no. But my head is the same, yeah. sort of 3 0. Okay, my people, our team lineup's really bizarre, but at the same time, I'm kind of liking it. It's slightly what I predicted, apart from the forward line. So, gold guy, uh, left back, we got Mitchell. Gay is the captain. Richards is actually starting a game. Oh my word, I did not expect that. Klein at right back, two holding defensive midfielders in um, Will Hughes and Czech DeCoure. So, I got another prediction right. And then the front four, Alisa and Zaha. Or, uh, you know, it's the wingers. Mateta's playing like a cam centre forward, which I found a bit odd. And Edward by himself up front. Eze and Ayu have been dropped. We've got Ward, Tompkins and Milivojevic on the bench with Riedeval and a few other men and that, and Johnson. So, yeah, I mean, it's a strong lineup, but defensively, I don't know. I'm 50-50. It's either going to work or it's either going to go completely sideways. I'm not. My, my dad was just raging about it a minute ago. He's not happy about it. He thinks the balance is poor. I can understand why, but who knows? It's an unexpected lineup. No one saw this coming. People seem to be confident DMing me about it, saying it's a good lineup. So I have to wait and see. We could either get hammered or we could either just really just compete well with Man United tonight by the looks of it, to be honest. So see you there at Sellers Park. <laughs>
Saladon, Palace free kick. Wonder what we're going to do from there. I 
I think I think we've got a deserved yeah, point yeah, at the yeah. end. Yeah. And if we had that little bit more quality in the team, we'd have won that game. Man United, I thought were poor. They were terrible. Man United were poor. Up the Palace, that's all I could say. We needed right. that point, big one. Yeah. Yeah. We got the Mate, the what's a free kick Palace. from Michael Elise? My God! No one chat to me again about Michael Elise being bad! <laughs> Come on. We're fortunate, Palace Van Arias. Wonderful, mate. I went to that Chelsea game, <laughs> been to the other games, mate. It was delightful seeing Palace yeah. back to Palace ways. Mm. Coming as the big teams, not being shy, actually getting stuck in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Richards, Cl Nathaniel Klein, by the way. Yeah. Oh my God, what a game. Mm. Rashford's had what? Seven games, seven goals. No, Cl Klein pocketed him. He's done so well. Mm. And Richards as well, bro. That's the Palace we love. The Elise, we love. The Elise not, goal. <laughs> Come on. The, mate, I saw it, I got it on my phone. I was right there, top bins. But that's what we have to do when we don't have people like Anderson. Mm. But Magic Michael done it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Done it again. The man in the match, bro. Who you, you give it to? Nathaniel Klein. Yeah, fair enough, fair I enough. Think, I think he pocketed Rashford. Or oh, Chris Richards. <laughs> well, it's not that it's huge, but yeah. I think Klein done it. Klein, all right, fair enough. Klein played so well in my yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And he done it. But if it's a Man United, that's why I'm a yeah. That last minute chance. That tackle from him. It proves you say Man United, Wolf should have done better though, in my opinion. Wolf got pocketed by Wamasaka. Yeah, he and did, that's, he did and, that's, and that's hard to say, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up the palace. Oh. With Rich, mate, come on. Up the palace. <laughs> big point. Come on. It's crazy, it's a point, but listen. Yeah, honestly, yeah. first and foremost, big up to Tristan. Make sure you subscribe. Love, subscribe love, love, to love, love, love. If you haven't Cheers. done so already and like this video, listen, unbelievable performance from 90 minutes. We've been asking time and time again. We just need a performance. Yeah, we, yeah. We're good enough. We've got enough talent, but we don't work hard. We see a bit of fight. Game. That's what we showed today, just didn't we? Just a bit of yeah. fight, a bit of bite. We saw it against Chelsea, mm. and we've seen it today. And I know maybe United fans might say that they didn't have a good game, but I think we've made them play poor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because definitely. Because we were just in their faces from time to time. Obviously, there was a few concerns. Mateta weren't great. Edouard didn't have the best games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alise was terrible up until the 89th minute, yeah. by the way. Um, yeah, yeah. But it's a massive point and it's momentum. Mm. It's momentum going to that Newcastle game on, on Saturday. But I'm going to single out some players for praise. Chris Richards. Brilliant. Unbelievable. I've been calling him for time. You know, we've been wanting yeah, him to play yeah. for times. So for time, and I'm, I'm so glad because I was nervous thinking, oh no, please don't tell Miss Tompkins. Please don't tell Miss yeah, Tompkins. Yeah, same, same, same. So, and fair play, Gay and, and Hughes. Is brilliant. What about Hughes? Brilliant. Hughes, unbelievable. Passing a bit wayward, yeah, 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 but definitely. breaking off play. And you know what? Just kicking a few players. Because, like I said, as a team, we're too nice. Just yeah, sort of yeah. a little bite. A bit more there. ruthlessness yeah, in the team, you yeah. know what I mean? That's what we showed today. And we loved it. And who was it? Mitchell had a good game, actually. Ah, he's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Mitchell had a very good game, especially second enough. He really grew into it. Yeah. And. Yeah. So oh, it was dis he was disappointed, but so towards the end, oh. it was a bit lively yeah. and such. So yeah, he's he's Mitchell, and especially Richards. He's Richard, my man in the match. By yeah. Way. yeah, yeah, he fair enough. Brilliant. Yeah, but, um, he's mine as well, even though I said Elise. I gave him to him because he scored the goal, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he was superb, Richard. Brilliant. Listen, I was like Elise. Yeah. Look, I know you've had a bad game, but I see this guy in top corner. Yeah, definitely. It hit the cross, but I saw the net ripple. And it was limbs. I was all over the place. I was in shock. You know, I was like, wow. Was <laughs> and then you know what? In the last minute, Wolf goes through. And the problem is he's taking a touch forward ahead of Juan Bissaka, which was the right thing to do. And he's lost his foot and he's stumbling. Mm. And to be fair to Aaron, he, he's got back in the lot. Yeah, unbelievable yeah. He's tackle. Done, he did well there, Aaron. Good tackle. Top we, tackle. Just, we deserved something from yeah, the play. Yeah. Same with uh, from the game. Same with Charles. We deserved something from the game. I'm just glad we got it. Yeah. Tristan, up. Up the palace. Yes, for people, 1 1 against Manchester United. What a result. That goal from Elise had me off my seat, and I was just like, oh my God, what the hell have I watched? It was insane. It was brilliant. Deserved the point. Hughes, Richards, brilliant. Um, let's be honest, Richards was my man of the match. I said Elise was the man of the match in the fan cam that I did with Eagle Football. Shout out to them uh, for some weird reason. <laughs> probably just some. Um, Slightly panicked. I mean, in reality, I would have given it to Richard. He was superb. Pocketed Marcus Rashford. Um, look, Zaha, Edward, Mateta were disappointing. I'm not going to get into that really. We've got to focus on the positives. I'll talk about the whole transfers in Paris and the board situation in another video. But yeah, loving it, man. It was superb. It was a brilliant result. A good fighting performance. Dad, three words. Yeah, got it wrong. 1-1. One, one. Um, you know, <laughs> we could have won it as well. Yeah. I thought Man United were a bit off it tonight. Um, mm. So, you know, but um, good performance by Palace. I got the result wrong. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, 
we, we got that. We deserved the point at the end. I think you know it was a good performance. Yeah. So I'm really, I'm, I'm happy, and we just got to carry that momentum through to the Newcastle game. Yeah, fingers crossed. Big game Saturday. It'll be a tough one. And you get United away in Brighton in the next match after that. So we'll see you then. Up the Palace, man. It's a brilliant point. We move. Saturday's a massive one. Hopefully, we could just continue in that game, and you know, with this momentum we got from this decent result home to Man United, they were poor. I thought, and yeah. Brilliant point. See you then. Eagles!